hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the subject of communication systems and so far we have discussed about various uh, basic introductory concepts related to uh, communication systems starting from the block diagram about uh, the various uh, ways in which we can classify categorize the whole communication process and uh, in this video we are going to discuss about another very important aspect of the process of communication which is the uh, connecting link the channel the medium of propagation of the signal okay so we all know that uh, communication basically involves the exchange or sharing of information between the source and the destination from the sender to the receiver and it involves various uh, blocks which form an important part of the whole process and contribute uh, in their own way and play a unique role in making the whole sharing or exchange of information possible so an important part uh, of this whole communication system is the channel or the medium okay which serves as the connecting link between the sender and the receiver the transmitter and the receiver so here we'll just discuss in a very uh, short way but we'll try to cover up the basic things okay so the three important parts of the communication process are transmission, reception and processing. So the channel, it makes possible the transmission and reception. This whole thing is possible because of the channel, okay, the communication channel, the connecting link. So here we can define the communication channel as the medium over which the information containing signal the message signal is passed from the transmitter to the receiver and there are various important characteristic features which should be considered before the selection of a communication channel because that can affect the quality of the signal and various aspects associated with that okay so the various characteristics that are taken into consideration while the selection of a channel for a particular communication process are signal to noise ratio okay now we all know that noise is uh, noise and distortion they they do exist in communication systems and there is no way that we can completely eliminate noise and distortion interference there will be noise distortion interference no matter how much precautions we take no matter how much carefully we design the uh, circuitry everything but noise and distortion will be there so what we can do is that instead of trying to completely eliminate it we can take steps to minimize it so selection of a communication channel is an important step uh, towards uh, in that direction so signal to noise ratio is an important characteristic higher the signal to noise ratio the better it is okay so it means uh, the noise as compared to the noise components the signal component is high then is uh, channel bandwidth the frequency range which is allowed which is permitted for the communication process then the amplitude and phase response then linear and non-linear response of the channel and various other distortion and interference effects so these are the common characteristic features that are taken into consideration while selection of a channel and the characteristic features of a channel are uh, expressed in terms of these parameters so we can classify the communication channels in a broad way as uh, these two in these two categories based on guided propagation channels based on guided propagation 
which are basically wired or physical cabling or connection uh, mode wired form wired communication and based on free propagation which is wireless communication okay so this is guided propagation is wired communication where there is a physical connection between the transmitter and the receiver in the form of wires cables uh, or any other connecting link uh, physical connection and free pro propagation where air uh, there is no physical connection and air is used as the medium of propagation free space so these are the two broad categories again we can uh, categorize the guided propagation in the form of uh, these three main categories okay twisted pair cable mode coaxial cable and optical fiber the physical connection and the channels based on free propagation as wireless channels satellite channels and mobile channels there are other uh, methods also but broadly we can categorize them in this way so in this video we are going to discuss the guided propagation so first we'll discuss the twisted pair cable so twisted pair cable uh, is the most common method of uh, achieving a physical connection or connecting uh, the transmitter and the receiver side which consists basically of uh, a pair of copper wires that are twisted together and generally the wire is uh, of one millimeter diameter so one of the wires is used to transmit the signal the main information containing signal while the other is used for ground reference so this is how a twisted pair cable looks like so as you can see one you know a uh, whole uh, uh, set it consists of many such subsets which consists of pair of wires twisted together and the white portion or the gray portion you can consider as the reference the ground which is used and the other is the signal carrying wire okay and they are twisted together okay and there are two types of uh, twisted pair cables one is shielded twisted pair cable and the other one is unshielded twisted pair cable so it consists of an inner shield which is the protective coating over these wires then there is an outer shield and then the final protective layer which is the outer jacket this is the twisted pair cable so basically they are used in telephone lines local area lan networks and uh, the data speed uh, here is from 0.1 to 100 mbps and it has a good signal to noise ratio okay so this is the twisted pair cable next is coaxial cable so a coaxial cable also consists of a copper wire conductor okay so this forms the central part of this whole coaxial cable system the copper wire conductor then over it there is a first insulation coating then over that there is a copper mesh sleeve coating and then the final outer protective insulation okay so this is the general structure of the coaxial cable the inner copper wire conductor then there is a first insulation coating then a copper mesh sleeve and then the outer insulation okay so here the characteristic features are uh, the data rate it is up to 10 mbps it is used in cable tv and telephone it also has go good noise and uh, interference uh, immunity to noise and interference that means it gives a good signal to noise ratio and it has a large bandwidth and the signal losses are low okay but uh, it has one disadvantage which is that it is costlier than the twisted pair cables as compared to them it is slightly higher price next we have is the optical fiber okay so optical fibers as we have already discussed in the optical communication optoelectronics section in detail uh, here we'll discuss it in short so optical fibers are basically uh, cylindrical waveguides that uh, carry light through multiple total internal reflection that phenomena so generally it is made of, of uh, silica glass uh, and uh, 
the whole structure it consists of three main parts core cladding and jacket okay so the there is a difference between the refractive index of the core and the cladding which facilitates total inter internal reflection at the interface the core cladding interface and as a result of that it travels uh, through multiple total internal reflection and various light sources such as laser light emitting diode are used as the information carrying uh, you know signal carrying uh, main signal carrying entity so and also photo detectors are used at the receiver side to extract the information so this is the optical fiber and it has uh, various uh, characteristics it has the maximum data rate up to several gbps maximum bandwidth as compared to twisted pair and coaxial cable it is small in size and light in weight it is immune to electromagnetic interferences less noise and distortion and it has uh, it is costlier than twisted pair cable and coaxial cable okay so it offers several advantages as compared to twisted pair cable and coaxial cable and that's why it is very costly as compared to them so these are the common uh, you know uh, methods of guided propagation which we have discussed here okay